Alright guys, uh, so welcome to the video demonstration of uh, Viper uh, Automation Framework. Viper is something that is uh, unique where I have uh, integrated Kiwi Selenium Framework and Raccoon Web Services Framework in one whole framework called Viper. So this combines the both features and advantages in Kiwi and Raccoon both together in a single framework. So let's go and see how we can get Viper. So the first of all thing is that we had to go to the GitHub page of mine which has the link to the wiki of Viper. So there is a description about Viper and how you can download so that's what I'm covering in this demonstration video and the features that Viper provides by combining Kiwi and Raccoon so for this to download Viper you have to go and you have to install JIT in your system and also a tool like Tortoise G JIT to uh, clone the project and get started you know running with the project and this uh, test automation framework called Viper. So you can see the code base so it's open source free automation framework that I have done for the community and you have to go here uh, select clone or download click copy the clone link and you can go to a browser okay and you can simply right click if you have JIT and Tortoise JIT installed you can simply go and do a cloning of this project. So to clone, go to your respective path, click right click on it, Cl uh, you don't select the cl JIT clone option and you can see that the link has been already automatically copied. copied. So I'm going to create a directory called Java Viper Framework. So it will be cloning all the code files so that you can use it where the Viper framework has been built. Then the next part is close it and you can see that all the code base has been downloaded. So you simply have to go to Eclipse and open projects from file system. Select that select where you have downloaded so I have downloaded in my iDrive and simply click select folder so you can select the Java Viper framework and click finish and what it will do is it will bring down this particular folder structure okay so you can see that all the code base has been downloaded and if you navigate through you have the source main Java which has all the packages and code base code the test automation code so the extend report package will give you the implementation of extend report where I have get got the API and created common you know functions which can be used in the test cases you can see the features package the features directory which has the sample two features one the login scenario is to show a feature file which can be used for web UI automation a simple login feature and web get test shows how web services test case can be you know created using Cucumber so you can see the login it's a very simple one for the community to understand and also you can see there is a scenario feature file for web services automation here so also the page factory shows all the page factory models that is used for the key use for the web UI automation so you can have your page uh, objects or page factories in under this page factory you know package and the read Excel will have the functions to read your Excel data files where you have using configurable this framework can you can use this framework to read data from Excel where you don't it doesn't hard code any stuff 
keeping up the best practices. You can see also the reusable request, delete request, get request, post request, put request that is implemented in Viper. So you can use this for you know web services automation, the Viper framework. So it implements the reusable request. So you don't have to you know clone or duplicate the request in your test cases. You simply have to import it. The runner module will run your feature files that is BDD framework. So stepdef implements all the you know the definitions, step definitions for your feature files and you can see the test case where you can also run in uh, Viper the non BDD test cases. So I have done a past barcode verification to show the features of barcode online barcode verification. The login test that we have implemented in BDD, this is the non BDD version. The accessibility testing of a website. So you can with Viper you can do accessibility testing. And uh, you can see the normal web services based delete, get, post and put that those are all sample scenarios that I have shown you that you can run and see what Viper can do and also image comparison so Viper does pixel to pixel image comparison so everything is here and the utility package will contains the browser start option the Viper with Viper you can start browser in Chrome, Chrome headless, Firefox, Firefox headless Plus, you can start your browsers with Selenium Grid. So, Viper support that. So you can do an image compare. This is like a implementation of the utility class of image compare. You can compare two images, online image and a local image, pixel to pixel. So, that implementation has done. JSON Reader. Okay. So the JSON reader, what it does is you can read from JSON files much faster than Excel reading. So I have implemented that. Then speech reporting. Also, this has been implemented so that you don't have to, you know, watch the report. While the test case has been executed, it will speak the results, the validation points that you have inserted. So everything of these features are implemented in the login scenario and the get test in the BDD form but in the non BDD I have implemented all these so you can see that Viper consists a lot of functions and features so you had if there is some errors in the dependencies first of all after opening this you have to go right click on it and go to Maven and do a update project so select the project and do a force update and click OK so that it will update all the dependencies that are used in this form.xml file. So the test test accessibility report will be you know always inserted here as test accessibility JSON. So Python is kind of all in one framework. So to run a normal scenario, let's run the web services one. So I will run the git. Uh, scenario right click run as test ng so what it does it is it will run the get scenario in the vi within the viper framework so you can see the scenario gets executed And also another thing, Viper also integrates ALU reporting. So you can see the the necessary test execution results will also uh, get created in ALU results folder that I will show you later. So my computer is a bit slow, that's why it's taking time. So you can see the test case got fast. I will run it again.
so you can see the get web services get request for Chennai Mumbai and uh, Pune are passing so you can see the past results so this is how you run a kind of you know web services request in an unbdd way you can run as a sample login test case so this combines both web services testing and it combines uh, as test execution of web UI also so you can have all in one in one scenario that's the thing that I don't want people to you know go on to different frameworks so you can stay in one framework and do it since the computer is slow the execution is a bit slow so with Viper you don't have to you know download the Chrome driver so it's automatically taken by the web drive manager so those are the advantages that Viper provides so in here you can see that uh, Viper runs the login UI scenario in headless mode chrome headless mode so I have configured it in that uh, excel file which it utilizes so that's why you are not seeing the browser but it's getting executed in headless mode so you can see the voice reporting is functioning so this is how actually you execute the test cases in Viper navigate but, uh, to token slash slash demo guru 99 com slash v4 slash okay I just go to it and if you open the project folder you can configure even running in Chrome running in uh, Selenium grid so everything is like you know So everything is like you know done in this data folder you can open this up so you can see the test suit is executed it takes time because my PC is a little bit slow you can see everything the URL and everything is you know configured so it, it runs on Chrome headless uh, so grid state is no but if you put grid state yes and you can put the selenium grid IP in one of these columns and you can configure it to run on selenium grid also so this is how Viper framework works hope you enjoy the video and please put a like if you like this video thank you